previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. Everything is in perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration on the Queen Dido, Norman. <laughs> Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed. So we set this trap together. Veltro Revival Act. The mountain hideout, and the coordination of the ships, all to put heat on Morgan. But I haven't given up yet. They've left us with an ace in the hole. Okay, so here we go with episode 12, The Queen is Dead. The final chapter in the dozen episodes that makes up Resident Evil Revelations. Here we go. This is The Queen is Dead, episode 12. This is the end, the final chapter. So let's jump right in and let's finish this puppy off. The final queen. Yes, Queen Dido. She's been resting on the ocean floor since that day. Which means we'll find her. A Terra Grigia. Exactly. We have a responsibility to see this mission through. O'Brien out. show over. The BSAA is hereby under the direct supervision of the FBC. Clive R. O'Brien, you are under arrest for collaborating with the terrorist organization Veltro. Chris, Jill, you're our only hope. The remains of Terra Grigia. And the Queen Dido. Approaching drop off point. Wow, them outfits are very attractive. So, does this mean like. Okay, I was gonna say we're gonna be doing underwater stuff, but maybe this will just be in the cutscene. Okay, I guess we are doing underwater stuff. So yeah, this is it, last episode. You'd think the last one would have made like a good ending with like the big giant monster fight, but I guess I guess they were like no. Oh yeah, and then we won't have to uh, try and go through to get the the air bubbles anymore. That'll be quite nice. So I wonder if there is going to be like a big final boss, or whether that was it and they blew the load in episode eleven. And instead, we're going to be a more a more subtle, quieter, more nuanced end. It's rather quiet. Like time itself has stopped. The lobs we found on the beach. They came from here. That explains why Morgan cordoned off the area. So we have two options, forward or left. And this one's blocked, as you can tell from the mini-map. So what's going to happen here? Do you want to be able to open it or what? Oh, 
Oh, it's just a dead end. Still giving us parts for the gun, even though we're like basically finishing it. That's pretty cool. Wonder if we're gonna have to fight uh, some zombie sharks. Because there were sharks in Resident Evil 1. So I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Ooh. I wonder if those corpses on the beach were Veltro. Something's still alive! Careful, you won't be able to fight them off underwater. What does that mean? Who's gonna die? Okay, they are giving us plenty of ammunition. So I'm guessing at some point we'll get on land. Maybe we, maybe this first bit's gonna be like all underwater and then we'll get to Terra Grigia. I, it still sounds like a Sonic uh, island or something. So that's pretty funny, but. Yeah, maybe once we like get through this area and we'll like swim up on Terra Grigia maybe, I don't know. So that'd be cool, because we've seen it with uh, Harper and stuff, and Harper and, when we were Harper and Jessica. When it was like normal. So it'd be cool to kind of explore it on foot. So I'm guessing this will need something. It's an electric lock. I hope the emergency power still works. The wires are all pulled apart. I'll fix them. Okay, I'll see if I can get the power going. A hey, good teamwork, that's what you want. Something to inspect down here, but I'm not sure what it was. Ah, there you go. So we have to go the long way and avoid him. This is like the fastest she goes, like, unless it's like a sprint thing, which I don't think there is. Hmm, okay, so how are we going to get through here? And here it springs to life. Ah, there's like a little hole here. There we go. I can see one of them like smashing through them boards maybe. Is there something up? No. There we go. Jill, the door's open. Okay, on my way back. Shit. Try to go above it. That seemed to work. Right, there's a thing there, but I'm not going back for it. Really? I, mean, I thought we did fine. I wonder if they're like a one hit kill. Okay, let's move in. Okay, looks like that's everything.
There's still air. Who's that? He hasn't been dead for long. He's FBC. No. There's something in his hand. Wrong way, Jill. Over here. Voice recorder, that could come in useful. This is Agent Dario Barioni of the FBC Armed Forces. The time is 1948. I request that this recorder be handed over to General Lansdale. If found by the next team, everyone on my team is dead. Killed by the devil himself. We were unable to retrieve the video log. Our mission has failed. Veltro, they weren't sitting around waiting for death to come to them. When the FBC arrived, they were waiting for us. Even though Terra Grigio was a year ago. Thoughts of revenge kept them alive. Well, that didn't sound promising. Devil himself, so I'm guessing we're gonna have like a big boss fight. So that'll be interesting to see what that thing is or what it looks like. That's something I'm kind of excited for. So we only have our shotgun or our machine gun, okay. Oh my God. Like a weird, like, cult. Oh, this is cool. Why did that happen? And how did they come back on again? Okay, what does this say? Dante Alighieri's La Divina Commedia, an offering to the dead. Underlined, howl the rain maketh them like unto dogs. One side they make a shelter for the other, oft turn themselves the wretched reprobates. Dante, blah, blah, blah. Inferno Canto the Sixth, blank. Something written at the edge of the page in sloppy handwriting. Those who offer their lives to the doctrine forever walk the path with the great Jack Norman. So I wonder if he's the devil guy. He's like turned into some big meaty monster fuck and he's like the last guy that would make sense he looks like the bad guy already so imagine him like in mutant form that'd be pretty awesome one of them in his desk anyway. I wonder if that's going to come into play and be like a cliffhanger at the end or something. Ah, uh, Veltro, in honour of thy name, we accept our wrongdoing and transmute our flesh in remembrance of our sins. Uh, Shall there be rest? We rise from the dead, our spirit and callous and immutable force. 
All of our interactions are right in here. We shall become guardians of the truth for as many years as it may take. Jack Norman was the head of Veltro. And he has the video we can use to nail Lansdale. True. And if we come across another box later, that might be the time to, you know, move to the sniper thing. Oh, down. Okay, I thought it might have like another big hall situation. Of God, oh how much oddest thou! By each one it's kind of. Dreaded, who doth uh, I keep talking about dead space a lot, but it's kind of dead spacey in terms of the whole, eyes. like kind of nice plush area Papa on like Satan, a ship. Papa Satan. Oh, Papa. this can make the boss fight arena. I didn't realize we we're gonna be right here. Each now I'm thinking, alright, let's just go in. It might have been worth trying to use a sniper for some firepower, but let's just try it like this. And we have our Parker's government gun to commemorate him. Okay, we've got good health items, so... Morgan! Morgan Lansdale! How dare you cross Veltro! Morgan, this is what you seek, is it not? Indeed, this little machine contains the truth. All oh, the truth needed to bring down your entire charade. Nice run. This is it. We got the evidence. No, no, no. We want to wait around for this. Stop! Why did they stop? Behold the terror which you have unleashed. Don't eat it. The devil himself. Oh, they're teasing us with it. They're going to hold it off. Okay, so here we go, in what I'm guessing is going to be the last bit where we fight Devil Jack Norman. <laughs> Norman, stop! Morgan isn't here! It's no use! He's gone over the edge! Just a bit. Ooh! Oh, oh, fuck. Aim for the heart thing. What the? Oh, come on, Jill, get up. I don't think he's in the mood to say goodbye. I don't know how I'm gonna, like, I don't know how you're meant to not get hit by that, though. Like every time, huh? I can't see now. Oh, we're gonna. Okay, so. 
wait till he thingies and we're gonna hit the heart. Alright, so come on then. Come on. Do it. I didn't get like two shots off, it seems like. Oh my god, she looks behind my magnum. Idiot. hate women like Chris is like right there as well. Might need to go and get that herb at some point maybe. Oh our box is in this room. Although what the fuck's happening now? He's gonna start running at us maybe. Oh! You have to find the one that has the thing, that's pretty cool. Revenge has consumed him. Nothing human remains. Okay, that worked. So, if instead of using this, for now we use the L. Oh, we have no, we have no bullets for it. And I think we're gonna be way too close to be able to use that thing. So I think we're probably using our best option. See that? It was like right there. She's getting quicker and quicker so we have less time to like reload, it seems like. Come on, Jill. Yes, move, please. So which one has like the purple smoke? So just wait for it. Fuck, man. Like, I know it's there. I don't know what the point of him doing that one is.
Well, that was shit, wasn't it? This is like really slow and lame for a final fight. <sighs> Come on. Like, I don't know what the point of that one is either. I thought you might have had a mate, like kind of staggered a bit, but I guess not. I got that! Get up! Maybe we'll try with this for a bit. Oh, fuck's sake, man, will you hurry up? Dodges, these are going pretty well. Although we are running low. I don't know if this like really even does that much damage, but when he goes down... Dodge it, man! Good, Magnum. So if I swap that for that, and then where's that L Hawk? them all basically
Give me a head. No, fuck your handprint. Oh my god. Uh, that's what we want. We are so dead. No! Fuck! <sighs> okay, guys, I don't know how we are going to beat this guy. What the? Maybe for these earlier things, it might be a good idea to highlight all the stuff in the area so that I have it. So I don't have to like do it while I'm fighting him. And then if we kind of make use of their magnum fire. shots and we, we actually know what we're doing now. That was stupid. Okay, come on. Come on, do it again. Yeah, like, Nothing human remains. Auto aim to the wrong one.
Okay, but you can't dodge them. How the hell did he do that? Doesn't matter. Don't let up. I don't know if there's like a better thing that I could be doing when that happens. Like other than like holding the charge thing. Maybe next time he goes down I might try the grenade. Okay, and we've run out of bullets for that, so let's see, is there... Uh... Oh, that was nice of them. Whoa! Why did that happen then? I'm sure he pumped way more into him than that the first time. What the fuck? Done. Everything finished. He looks like Dalek set with that eye. I can die. I can die. how Morgan treats his friends. I hope he finds more comfort in death than he did in life. The means of dispersion? The cruise ship is equipped with a UAV. That is your delivery system. Very well. Now show me the goods. Bonafide tea abyss. No vaccine. Not yet. Yes, of course. A little bit of this could turn a city inside out. I think we're done. I'll be on my way. Who would have thought, yes? that the lowly terrorists would receive a helping hand from the venerable commissioner of the FBC. As you can see, it's not likely you'll be wriggling out of this one. I seem to have underestimated the BSAA, and perhaps you as well. We found this in the off-limits area near Terra Grigia. We're done analyzing it, so you can have it back. Director O'Brien, surely you understand our dilemma. 
Without the Terragrigia panic, the ignorant masses would be unaware of the threat that lies before them. Yes, you may in fact be correct. No one has the right to detain me. The world required my guidance. It was all for the greater good. You're only fooling yourself. You said yourself, abandon hope, all ye who enter here. But I'm not Dante, and you're not Virgilius. Morgan Lansdale, you are hereby relieved of your position as FBC commissioner. And I'm placing you under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Veltro in the planning and execution of the Terra Grigia Panic. With all due respect, Director O'Brien, the BSAA is making a huge mistake. Where have I heard that before? Massive hands. Okay, that's episode 12, the queen is dead. Now, I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. We're we gonna get credits or what? Or maybe there's gonna be another bit afterwards. So yeah, one death, that was annoying. I don't know why, I'm sure I did like the same amount of damage as I did the other one, that was stupid. Storm is gone, clear episodes 10 to 12. finally reveal what happened at Terra Grigia. Yeah, but the cost was high. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. The storm is gone now. But how long will it last? After Morgan Lansdale's arrest, the FBC was dissolved, with the majority of its agents and resources transferred to the BSAA. BSAA would then be reformed into an anti-bioterrorism organization under the auspices of the United Nations. Whoa, they survived! Keith Lumley is now a leading figure at BSAA's East African branch due to his accomplishments at Vulcan and Mocky. Quint Ketchum, on the other hand, continues to refuse promotion to any leadership position, but he still works at the BSAA's main headquarters in the R&D department. Parker Luciani was found adrift offshore the Republic of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea and was rescued. After a month of medical treatment, Parker returned to his position as a special operations agent for the BSAA's main headquarters. Clive R. O'Brien decided to take responsibility for his actions and stepped down from his position as head of the BSAA. He is currently an advisor to the BSAA and is also writing a detective novel from the comfort of his own home. As for Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield, they have no idea what horrific fate awaits them. What does that mean? Does that look like they showed a bit? That was like the mansion from the first one or something. But obviously this wasn't a prequel, so I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do. But yeah, there you go. Happy ending, hop. I'm really surprised that Parker uh, 
survived. Actually, no, I'm more surprised that Quint and uh, Keith survived because I thought they they got fucking blown to shit. All that happened in the end was like a, a comedy, like cartoon explosion dust on the face. So that was that was cool. But uh, yeah, there you go. That is Resident Evil Revelations. Now my second Resident Evil game that I've completed. I think they could have sh shortened it down a bit, like just cut a few bits out. Um, cause I did like some of it, like the, like, you know, just a dabbling of underwater stuff would have been fine, but I think they used it in like three different ones. So like, I don't think you needed it for the, you know, the opening sequence of the last chapter. Like I think you could have done without that. But yeah, I love the, the cutscenes. The cutscenes look really nice in this one. And they always like to finish it with like loads of sun and shit. And it's like, look, it's a happy, it's a happy ending. Everything's fine. Cause it's not dark anymore. So I appreciate that because the, the blue, the, the sun and the sky in this game in the cutscenes actually look like really cool. Um, like when we first saw Terry Grigia in that opening cutscene thing, I was like, holy shit, this looks pretty awesome. And you have like this, when, yeah, the reflection of the sun, like the solar panels, that was pretty insane. But yeah, okay, the story kind of muddled, but it was fine, I guess. I think it was, I think it was okay overall. I'm glad I've played it, but I probably don't need to play it again. Whereas Resident Evil 2 was like more fun to play, I think. But yeah, I like how it was put into episodes. So it was like pretty easy to follow. And plus, if you kind of left it a while and you came back to it, then they were like, okay, hey, this is what happened in the last one. Okay, thanks for that. Like a TV show. It was kind of weird setup, but I appreciated it. And uh, it came in pretty useful. So yeah, there you go. That is Resident Evil Revelations. Tell me what you guys thought. Did you think it was better or as good or not as good as Resident Evil 2? And I think we can all agree that Terra Grigia is definitely a, like a level from Sonic. Like I can't get over the name, how sonic -y it is. But that place looked pretty cool. Like can you imagine that in like, I don't know, let's say like Dubai or something. And you have like an island that's full of sustainable or just recycles energy, like solar powered, like future city. That's, that's a pretty cool idea. Like I quite like that. Although the only bit of it that we really got to see was like the inside of like a shitty office building but i did enjoy them bits to be fair so i'm not going to complain about it that last boss i don't know why he, he died so easy like the second time and then it was like really solid the time before that i feel like i pumped way more ammunition into him unless it was just you had to hit him in the back maybe that's what it was and that's what i was doing wrong just kind of aiming for his like heart hole uh i think overall it was all right like i said they could have cut some stuff down and probably would have been a bit more linear and a bit better i think it had a decent amount of highlights in it but like thinking back on it like the earlier missions where where you're just going through like cabins and there's like monsters coming out were kind of a bit lame and not that good so yeah a bit hit and miss but overall i thought it was enjoyable i i wouldn't play it again would i recommend it maybe it's all right i don't know i'm not really sure it's a weird game it's a weird game I'm trying to nail down because I've mixed emotions on it. So I reckon it's probably like middle of the road overall. Almost too easy, wasn't it? The company let them take Morgan out with the trash. Tough world. You file the report on this. And by the way, why save Parker? Hmm. I have my reasons. The BSAA isn't as useless as I thought. Things could really heat up. Indeed. The fun's just getting started. Yeah, so it turns out Jessica gets her hands on the T abyss virus, I think it is. Although I don't think that leads anywhere unless it's to do with Resident Evil 5 or 6 or something because there is a Resident Evil Revelations 2 
But as far as I'm aware, that isn't like a direct sequel. It's kind of just like its own thing. And that's got like Claire in it and probably someone else, which I'm not really sure who. So apparently it only took under six hours to do a whole playthrough. But I guess that's just like in-game time. So yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, hey guys, me again. I was going to put what happened in a like little text thing, but I decided it's just easier to say it because it's easier, okay? But I've been doing some like research in it afterwards, and um, basically, in Japan, uh, they had a DVD and like extras like released with uh, the game, and one of the ex one of the DVD things was uh, Jessica's report, and basically that explains more about her and why her and Raymond were working together to get the t -Abyss sample virus. So I'm going to put a link to that in the description if you want to check that out. It is in Japanese but it's got like English subtitles. I haven't watched it yet so I'm not really sure. I'm gonna like watch after this but I'll put a link in the description so if you're interested or if you have some time that you need passing I guess yeah, then check that out. But anyway, apparently they were working for a group called Tricell, and that, that's about it. And I think it does have some kind of relation to do with Resident Evil 5, because I think it goes Revelations 5, Revelations 2, 6. But I'm not sure if that's canon or like super linear, or whether that's just kind of like a little tie-in thing. But yeah, that's what I could find out, so hopefully that's of some use at all. So um, yeah, anyway, I'll go back to past me, who was going to sign off and probably waffle on and uh, talk a load of shit they don't care about. But um, yeah, so that was just a little thing to try and clear up some stuff uh, in case you're interested. And if not, then there you go. There's some extra information that you didn't give a fuck about. But um, yeah, I'll pass it over to myself. So uh, yeah, back to me. Thanks, guys. Obviously, we preferred uh, Resident Evil 2. But what are you going to do? Nothing. So there you go. That's it. Uh, yeah, so as I said already, I've talked for way too long, so I'll end it there. So, that was episode 12 of Resident Evil Revelations. I've been Nick's Plays. Thanks for watching. Uh, whether it was just this one or the whole thing, or you just dipped in and out, then any any view is appreciated. So, uh, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Like and subscribe. All that malarkey. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay awesome, and we'll catch you next time for the next game, whatever that may be. That was Resident Evil Revelations completed. And this is Nukes Plays signing out. See you next time, guys.